In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to write code to concatenate string properties before displaying them as output. Like the previous two exercises that I demonstrated, I'm first going to show you what the program must do. So for now, you can just watch what I'm doing. I will tell you when you can also start typing code in your own project. I already wrote code for this tutorial, but I will remove it later and then we can type the code together. Here is my contact form in runtime again. I'm going to fill all the edits with information and when I'm done I'll show you my changes. Now let's look at some of the values I typed. I entered values for all my edits. Let me just point out a few things. My first name starts with a capital letter and all the other letters are lowercase characters. My surname also starts with a capital letter and all the other letters are also lowercase characters. The S and the A in the country edit are both uppercase characters, while the rest are lowercase characters. The email address has a combination of uppercase and lowercase characters. I'm going to click on the display button now to show you how the output must look in the end. This is the new output for the rich edit. The first name and surname fields must read from these two edits. But our code must format the values to uppercase characters before displaying your first name and surname in the rich edit. When your code reads the values in the country edit, it must also first format all the letters in the country's name to uppercase characters and display the formatted value like you see it here in the rich edit. We also want to format the characters in the email address to lowercase before we show it in the rich edit. Finally, we want to generate and display a code for our contacts. It must be generated like this. You must copy the first three characters in the first name and join it with the first three characters in the surname. Before displaying the six letters, your code must also format all the copied characters to uppercase. In the example here, I copied GER from my first name and VIS from my surname. I then joined the two strings and formatted the results to uppercase characters to display GERVIS as the contact code. Now you can also open your contact information project and write the code with me. Please type exactly what I'm typing. My application is back in design time and my project is the same as yours now. To display all the values like I demonstrated, we must make changes on the code for the on click event of the display button. Double click the display button. Delphi takes you to the event handler called BTN Display Click that we programmed in previous tutorials. We are still going to keep all these statements, but we will make some changes. Let's first change our code to format the first name and surname to uppercase characters. This is the part of the statement that you need to change. Place your cursor directly after this plus. Press the space key. Type UP. Press your control and space keys together. Delphi presents this list of items that starts with the letters UP. Uppercase is the first item in the list and it is highlighted. Here we see uppercase is a function. And uppercase takes a string as input. And it also returns a string as output. Press your enter key. Delphi types the rest of the function name for you. Type an opening bracket for the parameter. This whole part here must be between the brackets of the uppercase function. Move your cursor to the end of the statement. After the text property, type a closing bracket. Here at the end of the statement you must have two closing brackets. To avoid confusion with multiple brackets, you can determine the matching opening bracket by looking at the color coding that Delphi provides. Here we see that this bracket closes the opening bracket for the add method. When you move your cursor one place back to the first opening bracket, it will turn blue. And here we see that it closes the opening bracket for the uppercase function. Now let's analyze the whole statement. We are taking the text in the first name edit and concatenate it with a space and concatenate that with the text in the surname edit. The whole string is then passed to the input parameter of the uppercase function. The result is then concatenated to this string and the whole string is then added to the lines property of the reach edit named red output. We also want the country name to show in uppercase characters. 
To do that, we must format the text property of EDT country, also using the uppercase function. Place your cursor directly after this plus. Press the space key. Type uppercase. Type an opening bracket directly after the uppercase function. This whole part here must be between the brackets of the uppercase function. Move your cursor after the text property and type a closing bracket. This statement concatenates all the address fields, but it also formats the text in EDT country to uppercase. Then it adds the whole string to the lines property of the rich edit. Our next step is to ensure that all the characters in the email address is in lowercase. To do that, we must format the text property of EDT email, and we use the lowercase function for that. Place your cursor directly after this plus. Press the space key. Type LOW. Press your control and space keys together. Delphi presents this list of items that starts with the letters LOW. Lowercase is the only item in the list and it is highlighted. Here we see that lowercase is also a function. And lowercase takes a string as input and it also returns a string as output. Press your enter key. Delphi types the rest of the function name for you. Type an opening bracket for the input parameter. This whole part here must be between the brackets of the lowercase function. Move your cursor after the text property. Type a closing bracket. This statement passes the text in EDT email to the lowercase function. The result will then be concatenated and the whole string will be added to the lines property of the reach edit. The next step is to add the line that shows a contact code like this. The first three characters must be copied from the first three letters in EDT first name. And the last three characters of the code must be copied from the first three characters of EDT surname. The two copied strings must then be formatted to uppercase characters and concatenated to form one string. Go to a new line. Type redoutput.lines.add. Type two inverted commas between the two brackets. Move your cursor between the inverted commas and type contact code, followed by a colon and a space. After the last inverted comma, type a space, followed by a plus, followed by another space. Type edt first name dot text. Make a space and type another plus, followed by another space. Type edt surname dot text. Close the statement with a semicolon after the closing bracket. This statement concatenates the first name and surname fields as they are typed into the edits. Note that we didn't concatenate the space between the first name and surname. The result will be the whole first name and the whole surname and that is not exactly what we want. To get the first three letters from the text in EDT first name, we must use the copy function. Place your cursor here after this plus. Type copy. Type an opening bracket after the copy function. This whole part here must be between the brackets of the copy function. Move your cursor after the text property of EDT first name. Type a comma. The second parameter required by the copy function is the position number where the copying must begin. We want to start copying from the first character in the name, so type 1. Type another comma. The third input parameter tells the function how many characters must be copied. We want three characters, so type 3. After the 3, type a bracket to close the parameter list of the copy function. Now our result will look like this. Not exactly what we want, but we are not done yet. To get the first three letters from the text of EDT surname, we must do the same. Place your cursor after this plus. Type copy. Type an opening bracket after the copy function. This whole part here must be between the brackets of the copy function. Move your cursor after the text property of EDT surname. Type a comma. We also want to start copying from the first character in the surname, so type 1. Type another comma. We also want to copy three characters, so type 3. After the 3, type a bracket to close the parameter list of the copy function. Now our result will look like this. All that we still need to do is to format everything to uppercase. Place your cursor here after this plus. Type uppercase and an opening bracket. 
Both these values copied from EDT first name and EDT surname must be formatted to uppercase characters. Move your cursor to the end of the line and type another closing bracket. That will close the parameter list of the uppercase function. Now run your project and test the results. Fill all your edits with values. When you are done, click the display button. Now let's look at the changes. The first name and surname is in uppercase letters. The country name is also in uppercase characters. The email address is only in lowercase characters. And this line was also added. The first three characters from the first name and surname was copied, concatenated and formatted to uppercase. Click the close button. If you didn't get the correct results, you must watch this video again and redo the exercise. Remember, practice makes perfect. We will continue with this application in future tutorials. Click the Save All button. In the next tutorial, I will demonstrate how you must convert integer numbers. We will implement that in our contact information project. I'll talk to you again in the next video.